This is it. Opening day. The regular season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. It might sound cliche, but a road trip like this one is a great time for this team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry absolutely matters in the NBA, and these are the kinds of opportunities teams need to build it. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. They've got Wiggins. Steph Curry is out there with Oubre. And it's Green. And it's Wiseman in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Nets, Durant plays the four with Allen at center. Then there's Irving. Then there's Karis LeVert. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two. Reagan, 1991, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Your son going through it right now. Yeah, I, I, no doubt. Listen, everyone wants to see what you've got. Uh, and also, you want to prove that you belong. And, and so, because of that, though, especially in the day's game, sometimes because they come in a lot earlier in terms of their age, it may take them an extra year or two to figure it all out. And so, the teams that are most patient and allowing those kids to mature at their own level tend to be the ones that get... And we see so much impatience, and it causes problems. Dinwiddie finds Irving. Shoots over Curry. Irving, good. Irving, here's Curry. The pass to Green. Oubre on the wing. One up, one down. Two points with his. Dinwiddie against Zubre. Fires at the elbow. The thing you never lose is your jump shot. Plus, Steph, he can beat you with his stick awareness uh, rather than five points in the win against Boston. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. Playing him tough inside and preventing the layup. Now to get the whole team pumped up. Curry, good. I tell you, how do you defend Curry on the catch and shoot? It's hard because he can hurt you from so many spots on the floor. You can't be as physical with him as you'd like to since Durant's automatic at the free throw line. So while he wants his guys to be aggressive on KD, they'll also need to be smart above all else. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. I mean, he'll find you if you're open. Durant for three. That one's not going to go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. From deep. And another three for Golden State. All these threes. For Wiseman. Eric Pascal comes in for Tremont Green. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Oubre. And KD's got the ball here for the Nets. Nine-point game. So off the run, buries it from three-point range. The Reds had total passion in New York as a pro sports city. Greg is unquestioned. Talk about the pros and cons, though, of being a player in New York. You know, the, the opportunity, personally prof and, and professionally. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Curry. Here's Jordan, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Oh, yeah, a a averaged more points and rebounds than any other time in his career. Excellent shot selection. I mean, he shot over 54% from the field. He's hoping he's found something that he can build on. He's hoping he's found a home. And he's not going to miss that. Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Well, setting the pace early, aggressive mind state. I love their approach so far. Setting the floor for the Warriors. We've got Looney, Eric Casco out there with Kent Bazemore, and it's Poole in at the point guard position. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Since the Nets acquired Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, the franchise has gone from being an up-and-comer to a potential powerhouse in the East. Here's Pascal, and it's Shamit with the rebound. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. The game now all time. The best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. Here's Green, and it's denied. About what it was like going through the recruiting process as a dad. You know, it was it was fun for the most part because he really kind of kept everything in perspective. Uh, and the, 
teams we dealt with, the schools we dealt with, man, they were all top notch. So that process, about as enjoyable as one could ask for. But at the same time, it's still stressful, man. That's still your little guy getting ready to head off to college. You're a dad and a proud one at that. I like it. Pass to Durant. From deep three-point range, Warriors with the rebound. Wiseman's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Green. Outside for Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Fires the three. Kept alive. And the pass to Irving. Fires from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. Irving's got and here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. To the inside. It's stolen by Allen. In transition, here come the Nets. Durant, that's good. And I think I only counted. Pass to Smilagic. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Drops in the breakaway layup. Irving's got the lead up to two now for Brooklyn been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Oh, man, what a tremendous first half. Okay, obviously he's feeling the flow, and he's looking to keep it going. Durant plays the four with Allen at center. Then there's Karis LeVert. Then there's Irving. And it's Dinwiddie in at the two spot. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here's Wiggins. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's now seven points for Andrew Wiggins. That's a feed the green makes look way easier than it is. You gotta have amazing vision to make that pass. And Woody with the bucket. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Pass to Curry. Bob pass to Oubre. An emphatic LU jam. And you can see him give a little. Brooklyn now working with a new shot clock. Warriors trail by four. To the paint. And there's Green on the assist by Wiggins. Uh, you got to be aware of Green. Although he's a pass first player, he even looked for a shot in here. Pass to Dinwiddie. Back to Irving. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Inside, not a piece of it. Well, that's their first miss after hitting three in a row to start the half. I mean, I guess it had to happen sometime. In Witty with the bucket. They made the most of their halftime adjustments. They're shooting 80% so far in the second half. Down low, Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. And with that, Allen kicks to Irving. Back to Allen. Lavert inside the line. Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Hits the three-point bomb. Young man like John Morant, and he's been on the attack since day one when he hit the league. And there's so many more of those guys that are having an impact, understanding the value of that lead guard position. It is fun to watch. It is. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Here's Pascal. Now the pass to Curry. Such confidence from Curry. I mean, you watch him take it inside. You, you, you think he worked. Curry against Dinwiddie. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And there's been a drop off in their defense since halftime. I mean, they don't nearly have the same energy they did in the first half. And last year, Pascal had to do more than probably was expected of him. But this year, Bazemore in for Oubre. Shamit the pass to Jordan. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Six on the shot clock. Well, with the roll he's on this quarter, they're, they're going to keep going to him and get that lead even bigger. Passes to Looney. And it's blocked by Jordan. And the one thing we know about DeAndre, he's a presence at both ends of the floor. He protects the rim on D just as much as he punishes it at the offensive end. And it almost is he. Green kicks to Harris. 
dishes it to Dinwiddie. Takes a three. Connects from three-point range. Din just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Here's Luwawu. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Yeah, the D with very little. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Knocks it loose. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the third. Now, here's Dinwiddie. 13 points in the game. Obs it up for Jordan. Hammers the alley-oop through. And creating a little savvy about taking care of the basketball. I mean, their turnover numbers are terrible. Heisman's checked in for Golden State. Curry comes in for Lee. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Steve Kerr talked to his team during the break. He said they've played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second-chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. Have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. It's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Curry. Oh, just taking what the defense gives them, Curry's able to run the pick and roll in, in, in just such a variety of ways. Irving passes to KD. Down low, and slam dunk by Allen. Skilled and instinctual enough to have an offense run through him. That's how good he is. Durant has become an expert at passing out the pick and roll. It's Curry outside. Another three for Golden State. He has got to do something to take. Weisman's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Irving drives in, banked in off the glass. Irving's got five points now in the quarter. And after what was just a horrendous shooting performance in that first half, they're finally starting to find their rhythm here in the second. And he's coming up big here in the clutch. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Fires the three. Hits it from three-point range. And now just a... Outside for Durant. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Now Durant, he's so skilled on the offense again. He can shoot the long ball, comfortable on the block, drive to the hole, dunk over you, give you the jump hook, post game, turn around. I mean, and look, that time, he makes a play for me. And they're getting that. Shoots over Curry. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. You're not going to miss many of those. And how about that? What? Here's Green. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They've led by as much as 10. Irving with a clean look. And he sinks that one in the back. From about 16. And it's Levert missing. That's one he knows he should have drained. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Oubre. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. Oh, yeah, no question. With that. Oubre finds Green. 152 left in the fourth. Passes it to Wiseman. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possessions. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Nets leading by three. Outside Irving. Nice move. Allen trying to break free. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for ten. <laughs> well, Durant wanted the ball in that situation, and he got it. Great killer instinct shown from him, and he gives his team a huge score. And a 
again. It's the Warriors missing. The Nets have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. Curry passes to Green. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Uh oh, and he's got the attitude for this kind of pressure. You know, Draymond loves the big moment. It's stolen by Green. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Here's Durant. Great tee that time from Green. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Oubre against Dinwiddie to tie it up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jared Allen. Yeah, the defender all over. First free throw is good, and that narrows the gap to one. One drops. He ties it up. You can't have any more pressure on you than he had at the line right there. Shows you what he's made up as he's able to tie it up. Timeout called. The Nets. Twenty-six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Green against Durant. to shoot. Money! Um, how many clutch shots have we seen Durant hit? It's countless at this point, and he keeps adding to Timeout called the Warriors. They're trailing by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Put back to tie it at the buzzer. <laughs> to win the game. Oh! that shot at a chance but no good and so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win that was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. and there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor Kyrie nice win tonight what was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.